Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for June 1st, 2023 is the waxing gibbous moody moon in emotional Scorpio square, fiery Mars in passionate Leo. Tensions may run high today. Make sure you have an outlet for all that energy. Today is Elder Futhark Daily Rune for June 1st, 2023 is Gable. Gable, the letter G, meaning gift, associations, sharing, hospitality, blessings, exchange of oaths, generosity, personal relationships. Today, your focus is on being generous with others, sharing your blessings, hosting people for gatherings, or to even exchange promises might be prominent in your life today. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for June 1st, 2023 is Pay Attention to the Red Flags. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. The Romance Angels sent you this card to help you notice the unhealthy or disconcerting parts of your relationship if you are swept up in a new romance, this card serves as a cautionary warning. Pay attention to your feelings and impressions with regards to your new suitor. Don't allow emotion to bind you to characteristics or habits that won't work out for you in a relationship. A red flag is a sign that something is off. It can include uh, an indication of dishonesty, disrespect, flirtatiousness with others, substance abuse, or lack of integrity. While your new love interest may treat you wonderfully in the beginning of your relationship, it is vital that you watch how he or she treats others. Someone's basic character is revealed by the way in which he or she talks and acts with restaurant staff, valet parking attendants, or other miscellaneous individuals. If you're in an existing relationship, these red flags may signal a need for an honest, mutual discussion or couples counseling. This card doesn't necessarily guide you to leave a relationship. Red flags can be markers along the path of healing. A romance angel will guide you to take the steps that are healthy for everyone. So follow your intuition. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for June 1st, 2023 is Book Fairy. Card 39. Book Fairy. Intellect. Seek knowledge today. This card is about reading writing, study, and all intellectual pursuits in general. For those who love to read, be sure to allow yourself plenty of time for relaxing with a good book. For those who do not care to read, consider what you are missing out on and consider reading more. This card may herald a time of great study and learning. Maybe you are furthering your education and have much reading to do. There is one caution. If your nose is always in a book to the exclusion of people and other activities, you may want to make sure you're not trying to hide from life. It's fun to live in another dimension for a bit, but be sure to come back to your own plane of existence. It may be time to consider furthering your education. Your chant princesses, goblins, and romantic things, treasures and pirates and magical rings, wings that are wispy and bells that ring clear, banishing dragons, the crowd roars a cheer. Such is our stories, and so they are told, both of the meek and also the bold. Life is a story about which I write. I'll make it a good one filled with bright light. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for June 1st, 2023 is Earthed. Earthed. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. To realize they are souls having a human experience and to be fully conscious of it. 
to have their soul fully embody their body. People's personalities tend to relate to, to either transcendence or eminence. Those who lean towards transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They yearn for the personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They are envious of angels and are more comfortable praying and hanging out with the stars than on earth. Those who tend towards eminence have attached themselves more to the earth than their body. They spend more time thinking about the things in this physical world than connecting with the heavens or their own mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul, having a human experience means finding the balance between transcendence and eminence, being in the world, but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn towards transcendence. They are more comfortable with the angels and the heavens. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you are being reminded that you chose to be a soul in a body on earth. You're being called to focus more of your energies in the physical world. Learn how to be human, a soul in a human body, fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. Your star seed soul inquiry. Do you tend to long for the stars or to be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? Your Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for June 1st, 2023 is Abundance. Card 28. Abundance. Fortune. Wealth. Plenty. The goddess Lakshmi holds out her hand in divine offering, and the universe responds with such abundant blessings, the gold coins come cascading down. The gold in her gown and on her neck, ears and wrists shine with the life-giving light of the sun, which radiates upwards from the top of her head. She is the light of the world, bringing boundless generosity. This portends a time of great joy and receptivity for you. The prosperity you've been longing for is coming your way. An investment may pay off or an unexpected windfall may appear. But even if the increase in wealth comes slowly at first, the abundance is sure to expand as you allow yourself to focus on the present value already in your life. Always remember, value comes in many forms. There is good fortune in nature, friendship, and simple moments of small joys. This grateful awareness will shine in your life like the sweet violet aura around Lakshmi's luminous being. At her feet, baby elephants herald the arrival of true prosperity, bringing with them an energy of strength and peaceful certainty. This card is telling you, to rest assured, for great joy on prosperity will soon be expanding throughout your life. Your affirmation? I open my mind and life to the blessings of the universe. Unlimited wealth is coming to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. So your daily energy reading for June 1st, 2023 is the astrology is telling you to find a healthy outlet for all that tension you are carrying around. Gabo asks you to share your blessing with others. They may, may need some help. The romance oracle reminds you that red flags are not something you can ignore. If something feels off with your partner or potential suitor, address it. The fairies want you to know that it is a time for study and research. Leave no stone unturned. The Starseed Oracle asks you to ground yourself into your human experience while also keeping your sense of wonder for the stars. The Priestess of Light Oracle wants you to know abundance is headed your way, so get ready. 
all these energies are still compatible. You might have a lot of energy today. Make sure that you are focusing that energy on your study and research because something is off. Someone might not be telling you everything. Now, once you discover what that something is by grounding yourself in your human experience, which means understanding that you're here for life lessons and those life lessons come from your interactions with other people. You can then share those lessons you've learned, share what those red flags are, share where that warning might have been, because it doesn't need to be intentional. Share those blessings with others around you. It will be a outlet for all that tension you're carrying around. Likely that tension is because you know something's off and there is a conversation you need to have for, with others. And upon releasing that information, releasing that tension, releasing that, hey, you know, I really don't like it when you do X, Y, or Z, you are likely to get an abundance of good things coming to you. More than likely, that person doesn't even know that that thing they're doing bothers you in the first place. Because if you haven't voiced it to them, how can they possibly know? You need to tell them that you don't like it so they can make an adjustment. No need to be very dramatic about it either. Calm, quiet, compassionate patience is part of the blessings that you can share with others that you've learned from your life lessons. All will be well if you just use your voice.